about this tour t5 food day OCT tour whenever you come to Istanbul you should try to get a tour let's go after half after 20 minutes at 10 o'clock the streets are closed of traffic ah, okay there's a lot of traffic guys that's what i was telling you about yeah. we should be able to use uh the tramway this bus yeah this is the bus okay I made it to the bus. And today we are going to visit the most crowded touristic place of Istanbul and Turkey. Byzantium was named an empire, but for an empire, but Byzantium was the first name of the city. The Byzantium, this city was initially founded or established by the Greeks in 7th century BC, 667 BC, 2,750 years ago. Victor of him, Victor of Tutmosis III, the king of Egypt at that time, 15th century BC. Originally it was higher than this, 30 meters, but Rome cut it from the to put on the ship to bring here. Still 10 meters remaining pieces in Egypt. So right now, there's a lot of history in it alone. We're going to the Blue Mox, which is this way. I'm enjoying it and I'm glad that I booked this town. And I will advise that you do the same whenever you're in Istanbul. 405 years ago, built by him, Ahmed the First. <coughs> uh, 14th Sultan of Ottoman Empire. The name of the mosque, also the name of this area. Sultan Ahmed. The most famous, the most touristic, crowded, busiest place for the priests here. Yeah. In Turkey, not only Istanbul, in Turkey. Let's go. The biggest mosque is Suleymaniye Mosque. As I said, the built in 16th century. This was built later in 17th century. The pillars that you see. Four pillars originally at the mosque. One pillars. These are called at architecture as elephant leg or elephant feet. One, two, three, and a four. And the mosque stood on these four great pillars. The small pillars were put four years ago for renovation. This is the original part of the mosque. So I just finished from the mosque. It's already raining. I was able to get some books, as you can see. The Quran and the Bible. They all have the Quran. They gave to me free of charge. Learn the basics and after I have the prophet of Muhammad, peace be upon him, and also the Quran, the final revelation of mankind. And also have the true message of Jesus Christ in the Quran and the Bible. This is very nice. This is the Sophia, right? This is Aya Sophia. Yeah. Aya Sophia. Aya Sophia Mosque right now. Aya Sophia Mosque, right? Yeah. Okay. This is the Sophia Mosque right behind me. We're gonna go inside and try to explore the place. It looks very huge and big. So on my trip going, I was able to meet some friends. What's your name? Yasin. Yasin. What's your name? Manda. Manda. It's nice to meet you. So I met some friends. They're from <laughs> Algeria. Sixth century. The sixth century means uh, before Islam. This is the mosque now. It's the Islamic building. But this was built before Islam was born. Islam was born in seventh century. So it was built before it. Uh, in uh, 6th century and 916 years until this city was conquered by the Ottomans between 6th century and 15th century church it was an orthodox church Byzantine, for, sorry, Byzantine orthodox church uh, this was not a simple church this church was the center of orthodox Christianity so for instance uh, now the center for the Catholic is Vatican but before this city was conquered by the Ottomans before 15th century the central church for the Orthodox people was here, was here. so it was a cathedral also, big cathedral, Sofia. So then, this building was converted into the mosque by the Ottoman Empire, exactly by Sultan Mehmet, who was the conqueror of this city, Constantinopolis, in 1453. Ottomans conquered the city on 29 May in 1453 on Tuesday, just after three days. Friday praying, Ottomans prayed. So it means, Sofia, the first thing the first thing that the Ottomans did in this city was to convert this building from church to the mosque. Hagia Sophia Church became Hagia Sophia Mosque in Ottoman Empire. Imperial Mosque of the South, the biggest mosque of the city. So also, one of the few buildings in the world that you can see Islam and Christian together. 
When we enter, we will see some mosaics. All of the mosaics are Byzantine mosaics. Ottomans did not destroy, did not remove the mosaics. Ottomans covered the mosaic with plaster. This was the third church built on the same point. Before Hagia Sophia, there were two more churches. Nothing to see from the first church, no remains. So something to see outside from the second church. So after it was destroyed, the second church, the Hagia Sophia, which was built here as, a, as the third one, the third church. Sophia was no one. Sophia means, because when people saw, hear, hear Sophia, they told that they think, Princess or Queen. Sophia means wisdom in English. So Hagia Sophia, Holy Wisdom or Divine Wisdom. Hagia Sophia Church, Divine Wisdom Church, built in the 6th century. And also the shortest time for a big building to build. Less than 6 years in 5 years and 10 months. Because many of the pillars, the parts of the building that we see inside were reused. Removed from the ancient buildings, collected in the different from different cities, different countries, and transported by ship to Constantinople and reinstalled inside the Hagia Sophia. Syria, Libya, Egypt, Greek islands, and from Turkey. There are many pillars and the marbles that we see, colorful marbles that we see from many different countries. So, it was a church, then Ottomans came, converted the building into the mosque. So we're heading to the market. We're gonna do some shopping. Uh, remember, I want to check uh, yeah. to change money. Okay. Let me show you. There are many, many change services inside. Uh, okay. We buy Sultan Mehmet, the conqueror. It's a Kavut Bazaar. Uh, we Turks call the bazaar as written on the gate, Kapalı Çarşı. Powered bazaar. There were stairs here. People used to sit on the stairs and also people were going upstairs to watch this opera ceremony. This cross? 13th 13, 13th century. Okay. But it, uncertain. Maybe 13th, maybe 14th. Okay. This was uh, built before the no the, the Muslim. Uh, uh, before really? before Ottomans. Yeah. Ottomans uh, conquered this in the 15th century. Oh, I see. And this was built in six. Many century. years ago, before them. Okay. So guys, my friends, we have come to the end of our vlog today. I'm just going from this palace and I'm going home. I'm very, very tired. It's an amazing place to visit whenever you're in Istanbul. Just check this out. I've seen inside the museum, I've seen a lot of things. I even saw the sword of Moses. I'm sorry, the staff of Moses, the one he used to divide the race into two. I was able to see the uh, sword of also uh, David. David, the one that killed the glut. I saw his equipment, I even saw his clothes. I guess you see it on the vlog. Please like and subscribe to my channel, okay? Thank you for watching.